Uh, in this video, I'm going to show you uh, hashing. So I'm taking the last upload I had, and there's also source code on GitHub. I'm taking the DAO pattern, a simple DAO uh, model where a user can input a little bit of information. And with the DAO setup, that information is persisted into a database. And so here, I basically spun off of that and I made a thing where a user can enter an example password so they type in a string and this app will hash the password okay it's gonna take that password and turn it into uh, a string of random characters um, and so here I have an example of how it runs so I have this app here and I can click I can run this app or I can run this main class here main method okay so here I could just type in a word an example word an example password so let's say I type in password one and I enter and you see that it shows you this is what the hashed password looks like. Okay. And I could enter another one. And that's what that would look like. I could enter another, type in another word. Let's say I type in this. That would be that. Type in uh, that. You see that? And when you do this, I'm going to clear this console. When you do this, you can kind of see why um, when when they ask for your password and stuff, they want you to add like a character or a number. Because check this out. Let's say I type in the word tree, right? It's going to hash the word tree. But then let's say I just type the word tree in again. And you see it looks the same. Because it's just an algorithm, right? So maybe I should, in fact, if I'm going to, let's say I want to change my pa let's say I had the password of tree and I wanted a new password, I should probably add a letter, at least add a number in front of it, just to make it, you know what I mean? So it just changes it. Just changing one number in front of it will make it a little bit stronger. Let's say I did capital T tree. And uh, luckily, it does actually change it. So this is why you got to change your passwords a little bit, because it's gonna. It helps to kind of clean it up. Let me enter uh, some unique characters. Yeah, it will. This thing will. This thing will hash these characters. And so this is the source code. The source code is on GitHub. Um, but this is just an example example class um, but my main app I actually haven't run the main app with uh, this other thing running um, let me just stop this okay now let me run my main app the one that persists data and yeah let me run this run app.main Okay, now the fun part. So I'm going to enter an example password. Let's enter uh, Nighthawk. It says inserting the password. We returned an account with an ID of four. Successfully entered the password. Now let's check the database. We'll refresh this. And you see that, that ID of four and that password was persisted so that's if we took the word Nighthawk that's what it looks like encrypted hashed encrypted whatever you want to call it uh, yeah so um, this source code is on github you just have to uh, remember to put in your information in the uh, create an application properties file put your information in there your connection to your DB and uh, you could even take the um, 
the DAO pattern repository that I uploaded. And you can just simply like copy and paste. You can make this class a class called password hashing. Password hashing. <laughs> and you can uh, just paste all the source code in there. And then in your app, your main class, you just have to extend. This main app will inherit the password hashing, right? Um, do hashing dot yeah I could show you like what happens if you don't inherit for some reason it, it, you have to inherit it you can't just like call the class you can't just instantiate you can't just do like password hashing ph equals new password hashing ph dot do hashing you can't actually do that the the program wants you to just inherit the whole thing and uh, I guess because they want the they want these things imported as well. I, I'm not exactly sure why. But yeah, um, thanks for watching and happy coding and check out the GitHub for the source code. It might make your life a little bit easier.